difference. Now we'll come one of the interesting and important area to understand difference between CI and SI. By calculation of the formula or due to, uh, based on the mathematical calculation, it is easy to say we can we will able to just subtract difference between uh, means amount of compound interest minus amount of simple interest, we will get the difference. But here our purpose is something different like if only we will depend on the calculation based on the formula, then many of the times it will become much complicated because CI we know it is in coming in the power format then always calculating power format in complete complete mathematical way and afterwards subtracting the simple interest it will not easy it will consume time how to just come out from these complication means we our interest is only two things for example purpose our interest is only two things what we are doing we are increasing our accuracy we are decreasing our time this is our two goal for cat preparation day by day session by session your accuracy should improve arrow should go up and day by day session by session your time should come down means your time tackling capacity your response time for any question it should come down then here how to tackle this situation just we'll try to correlate this difference between ci and si especially si uh, ci will be distributed binomially on the pascal triangle pascal triangle will know this is one 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 you write just you add this this you add it will come two this you add three this you add like keep on you just do pascal was one of the mathematician that time this is uh, tr pascal triangle was much much helpful for all mathematician who was dealing with the algebra and variable because they don't know any clue how to take the coefficient of binomial expansion how to take the co how to take the coefficient for binomial binomial expansion and how to find the number of selections means once permutation combination selection counting was keep on developing and we are uh, expanding the variables in form of a plus b to the power n or a plus b plus c to the power n then we we don't have any clue how to take the coefficient then pascal only was helping he has made very big triangle very big triangle it was up to n equal to 100 200 was there if any expansion you want you just go horizontal way and you take it like this one this is n equal to 2 if you want to want to expand a plus b to the power 2 then coefficient will become 1 2 1 we already know a square plus 2 a b plus b a square what is coefficient here this is 1 2 1 a square means 1 into a square matter is same if same thing you will write you will take third row a plus b to the power q then you we know we, we are writing like this expansion 1 3 3 like just you take row 3 what is coefficient 1 3 3 1 1 3 3 1 now this power is very easy to compensate here maximum power this will become whatever power is here this 3 3 will come directly here afterwards you just keep on decrease the power of a by 1 and increase the power of 1 here 3 has convert to 2 and b was 0 means you can write here b to the power 0 0 will convert to 1 a will convert to a 1 b will convert to 2 again a will convert to 0 b will convert to 3 how many terms a plus b to the power 3 total terms will be 4 and coefficient will become 1 3 3 1 that is the one of the use of pascal triangle Pascal triangle multiple uses there like this if you are taking this is your natural number correct afterward multiple triangular number 1 3 6 10 we know this if you are taking this one this is your triangular number this we know already after then pentagonal number various uses there one of the use you just take horizontal line like 1 1 1 1 2 1 1 3 3 1 1 4 6 4 1 1 5 10 10 10 5 1 these five maximum you try to remember that is sufficient because our interest here for compound